props to the young lady that literally just broke up with me. I don't want you out there painting that narrative talking about I never loved you because I called you some some very horrible names. But I want you to realize that you hurt me. I do apologize for calling you them names, but you really hurt me. And like when I first met you seven months ago, I knew I met my wife. You had a son seeing you. You was one of the most beautiful women I ever seen in my life. And like as soon as I met you, start talking to you. I knew this is what love was. It's been a long time in my life where I felt like that before. And you made me feel complete with my daughter and your son. I loved your son like like he was my son. And today, I just felt like my whole life was ripped apart. Like, you let people disrespect me. Not once have I disrespected you. And ever since I started expressing my feelings about how how I felt and how you made me feel, all of a sudden, I was the problem. I don't care about that. I just wanted you to see that you was hurting me. And then you're going to break up with me because you say you can't love me properly or I require too much. I, I require too much because I just want to be treated like a man. And I just want to be labeled as a man. Like... I I loved you with every bone of my body. I did stuff for you that I never thought I'd do for another woman. I felt things about you that I never felt about any other woman in my life. And like, I the only thing that I ever wanted in my life was to have a family. This is your second time breaking up with me. I loved you too much. You wasn't ready as a man. Honestly, that's what I feel like I'm really good at. And I know how to love you properly. I I tried so hard to love you. And like, I should have saw the sign that you probably did not feel the same way from the beginning. But I thought that I could make you feel that way about me. But I don't want you out here painting this narrative like I never loved you. Because all I did was love you. All I wanted to do was just just have a family with you. I do apologize for calling you them names, but I just I was I just wanted you to hurt the way that you that you hurt me. And like and I and I know I might be crazy to think this but I feel I still do have love for you and like I just all all I ever wanted was a family, and when I first saw that, I saw that with you, your son, and my daughter. I've been I've been working so hard trying to make ends meet. I feel like the world is like giving up on me sometimes. Like I. Just, I'm just trying my best out here. <laughs> and sometimes I feel like my best is not good enough. I've, I've been trying for years. <sighs> Three weeks later. I'm going to find out she was cheating on me the whole time. Now, I feel very weak for making this video. I was over here crying, really thinking I'm the problem, really thinking I'm this and that. She was calling me insecure about the guys she was hanging out with and the guys that was her friend. Come to find out, she was smashing one of her friend guys the whole time. And then the dude told me last night and the mama told me. So look, here come, here go the live right here. That's the thing up. Yo. So why do you keep saying I should have did something? What about your daughter? Why you keep I'm saying okay, me? I, I'm going to be real honest with you. You got played, Mark. You I guess played. it's safe to say Mark was a Mark. Just, just bottom line, you got played. It happens to the best of and us, though, Mark. Look, you ain't the first guy that got <laughs> it played. Does. It does. So you does. have to understand that. And I don't want to tell my daughter business because it's not her business for me to tell. 
And that was my ex mama talking about she don't want to tell her daughter business. You told your daughter business. You told me I was getting played at the last minute. Ooh, you could have like I don't it. know what you could have did, but you knew your daughter was playing me. You went out with your daughter. Your daughter went out with you. Y'all met up with a dude that she's been having on and off for six years. She even cheated on her husband with the dude she cheated on me for. And she had me thinking that I was the problem, that I was insane. Like, you really think I can't have no guy friends? But yeah, but I'm crazy though. Like I was been saying, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. And mama was a bad example of that. Mama was never loved properly. Mama don't know how to love. She don't know how to show her daughter love. And that's what I try to do for her. If she, if you knew the type of thing she used to say, I try to show her love that she never got in her life. But what happened on me? I get cheated on by a fat, telly, tubby looking dude. And she cheated on her ex-husband. She had me thinking her ex-husband was the problem. The dude told me she cheated on her ex-husband with her. Oh, oh, oh.